a very warm welcome back to Get The Gloss. So today I've decided to change location in my house, switch it up a bit, make it a little bit more interesting. I normally film um, basically in the room above our garage, so I've decided to ditch it and this is the desk that I normally work at. So it um, gives it a bit more of a homely feel. I feel? Uh, I hope you like it. Anyway, okay, so today I'm going to talk about the products that I get to the bottom of. They are the products that I literally squeeze out, that I get right to the bottom and scrape out the very, very, very last drop. So, let me tell you what they are. Okay. First of all, I have Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. Now, I've used this product since I was at Glamour magazine, which was, show my age, literally about 15 years ago. Uh, it's an amazing product. Um, they come in lots of different colourways. Um, it's like a concealer, but it's very, very sort of finely textured. Um, so it leaves sort of veil on the skin, and I use it for touch ups all over my face. Now, each product comes with two different shades in it. So you can mix them up, and, or you can use the different colours on different areas of your face, because your face is not all one colour. Also, your, the colour of your skin changes throughout the year, with the seasons, if you go on holiday. It's a very clever product, and I've actually seen makeup artists use this all over the face as a foundation. Now that's quite full on, probably best for shoots and things like that, but this is the one I use. It is colour SC3. It's a bit of a cult product. Um, it has quite a cult following with celebrities, etc., and I know why. Um, you can use a brush to put it on, but I also just literally use it with my fingertips, um, under the eyes, uh, spots, blemishes, uneven patches, you name it, brilliant. Okay, next up, actually I'll keep that because I will apply things with it. Okay. Hypnose Mascara, one of my favourite mascaras, it's from Lancome, um, it also is very very popular, I always wear black, I don't wear brown, I sort of think if you're going to wear mascara, you might as well do it properly, so I wear black mascara and loads of it, because without mascara I look like a boiled egg, I look featureless basically, and a lot of people with um, fair hair uh, or redheads, because I do have red in my hair as well. Uh, a lot of people with that colouring um, will associate with that. Um, so yeah, Longcomb Hypnose Mascara. I like it because it elongates the lashes. It doesn't clog. Lashes look really really long. So I always use that one till I've run out. Okay, another thing I always use is. Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Eye Pencil Eye Cheat for bigger, big, sorry, for bigger, brighter eyes. Now this is a fleshy coloured pencil and I use it inside the rims of my eyes. Uh, the point of it is, sometimes if you're tired, the inner rims of your eyes can look really, really pink and this helps brighten it up again. Now, People used to use white ones, wrongly, because you don't have white on the inside of your eyes, it's never quite that white. You have this very slight beigey colour, which is much more natural. Uh, and it works a treat. If you're tired, if you're hungover, whatever, it literally opens your eyes up. <laughs> I have two of these. I have one in my makeup bag and another one in my wash bag. Love it. Okay, here's another product. I literally, uh, if I lose it, I have to go buy another one straight away. Um, and I've used the last one until it was totally dry. It's called Gimme Brow by Benefit. This one is in light to medium, but I believe it comes in different colours. Um, and it is like a brow powder slash gel. Right, so it's not, I would say, it's not really, really dry. Not like a powder, but it's not like a really runny liquid. 
and it comes in this brilliant little brush that's about the size of your eyebrows and it keeps eyebrows in place but it also adds a little hint of colour that defines them. I think it's, it's one of the best eyebrow products I've ever tried. Um, and I was with Caroline Barnes, the makeup artist, uh, and she had one in her kit and she was like, Suze, that is a genius product. A lot of people have now copied it, but I think this is the best. Gimme Brow by Benefit. Okay, next up, product I consistently get to the bottom of is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. It is much loved by beauty editors worldwide. Um, it contains lots of patented ingredients and it's crammed full of antioxidants and ingredients that help your skin recover. It helps calm the skin, helps hydrate the skin. It is a bit of a wonder product. It's called Advanced Night Repair, but I think most people know by now that you can use it in the day, you can use it at night, and most people use it all day, all night. Um, and it is just a brilliant primer before you put on your moisturiser. I would say most people need a moisturiser as well because it's not as nourishing as you might need for this time of year. But I consistently get to the bottom of it, brilliant product, and it is loved for a reason. <laughs> it's brilliant. Okay, next up is Sesh Vite Top Coat. I get to the bottom of this all the time. Um, or I use it and use it and use it and then it becomes too gloopy for me to use because I've had it for so long. Um, it is the best top coat I think I've ever tried. Um, you just put it on, in fact I'll do it now and then you can see how fast it dries. Okay, it dries super fast and leaves your nails unbelievably glossy. Okay, so I've put it on now. Maybe you can time to see how long it takes to dry. Um, but I just think that product is absolutely brilliant. I'll keep talking and come back to this. Okay, next product I absolutely love is Bioderma. Um, probably pronounced Bioderma because it is French. Um, traditionally found in French pharmacies, but it's recently come over here. You can find it in more and more places. Um, I believe it's available in Boots, actually. Um, anyway, it is a... Um, Micellar water, which are, um, is a water that consists of ingredients that won't upset your skin. Um, it's very good for sensitive skins um, and it can remove all your makeup and clean your skin totally. Uh, I use it to remove all eye makeup, um, all my face, lips, everything, and then I'll probably wash my skin as well. Um, but it's very it, it's very good for sensitive eyes, it won't upset anything. Um, I don't like eye makeup removers that leave oil in your eyes, I hate that. So this is one of my favourite things. Um, also if you're really tired and you can't be really bothered to wash your face, it's three in the morning or whatever, just put some of this on your cotton wool pad, clean everything, another one, clean everything, and you're done. It is a brilliant product and they're properly dermatologically tested, so really kind to skin, won't upset the pH balance of your skin, etc. Right, back to the nail, totally dry. Totally dry, totally shiny, literally also helps dry the nail varnish underneath super fast. So if your nail varnish isn't quite dry, add that on top, it will dry it like cement, brilliantly. So if you can see that, I don't know if you can see, but super, super shiny. Might go out of focus, there you go. Right, next up, um, Moroccan hair oil. Massive fan of this product. I run out of it all the time. My hair is, um, I've actually had my hair blow dried. It doesn't normally look um, quite as nice as this. It's normally a total frizz bomb if I didn't do anything with it. I use Moroccan hair oil. I think it's one of the best hair serums out there. I wouldn't actually say it's an oil as such because natural oils don't have the slip that this has. This definitely has some kind of silicon in it, but for some reason it is just one of the best at leaving your hair super soft and sort of swingy. Um, it leaves it easy to manage, um, soft to touch. Um, there are two different version versions. This is the original formula. Then there's a light version, which is also lighter in colour, because some people, I believe, have said that this one, which is quite orangey in colour, I don't know if you can see that, 
um, that it can um, leave sort of residue on the hair and sort of colour the hair slightly. I'm not sure about that myself, but um, they have got a lighter one, lighter in colour, and also if your hair is quite fine, the other one might be better for it. I just slather it on before I dry my hair and after I dry my hair, like this. Um, and it helps get rid of frizzies, any flyaway bits on top. I just think it's the best. There have been a million people who've brought out hair oils, hair serums in the last few years, and I still think it's the best. Okay, right, right, right. Um, next up, right, it wouldn't be me without a bit of self tan. Constantly getting to the bottom of this product. It is Clarins Self Tanning Instant Gel. Why do I love you? Because easy to apply, street free, actually developed into quite a good tan. It's not um, super pale, but it um, is a real believable colour. So it's not orange, um, it's not mahogany, it's kind of somewhere um, along the lines of Giselle. Um, and I think it's brilliant, and it says it's non-oily, definitely non-oily. You can put your clothes on straight away, doesn't smell, brilliant. You can see all these products, by the way, are all beaten up. I can use them all. Uh, this one, Kerastars. Ban Satin. I was introduced to this years ago by Sam McKnight, who is an incredible hairstylist, probably one of the best in the world. Uh, he's absolutely incredible. And he introduced me to Ban Satin, and it's just amazing for um, sort of quite hard to handle, dry, coarse hair, which is what my hair is naturally. And it helps to soften it, um, doesn't leave it sort of stripped, it doesn't leave that feeling when you've washed it that it squeaks, which I find a bit um, that I'm using the wrong shampoo if that does that for my hair. I feel I need to have something that leaves it feeling a little bit conditioned because my hair's very dry. Uh, it's just a fantastic shampoo and I think Kerastars in general is an amazing range. And um, I also love the hair mask from the same range. So that's great. Um, right, what else have I got here? Oh, um, self-tanning hydrating facial skincare from Sisley. I've got through quite a few of these. Um, it's pretty expensive, I have to say, but it's one of the best self-tanners I've ever, ever used. Uh, Newbie Hands, who is um, beauty director of Porter magazine, and um, part of Netta Porter, she's also a big fan of this. She got me onto it, in fact. Um, it's just, it feels like you're using proper skincare whilst at the same time it being a self tanner. And again, it doesn't make you look orange, it doesn't look obvious, it just looks like a bit of a hint of a glow. Um, you put it on in the morning and then halfway through the day, you look in the mirror and think, wow, that made a real good difference. Um, yeah, I love it. It doesn't stink either, which is always a bonus. Um, and last but by no means least is um, oh yeah, Tom Ford, it's the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. It's absolutely brilliant. Basically, I keep it in my handbag, I put it in my clutch bag, everywhere I go, this comes with me. Um, it's a brilliant foundation stick to go. You dab it on, it's very fine, which I think is key in a foundation. It can't look like a big, thick layer. You need to have foundation that goes on finely, even if it gives intense coverage, it needs to be a fine layer. Um, I use it everywhere, under the eyes, or I just use it as a touch-up stick when my makeup's fading halfway through the day, I'm in the back of a cab in London, um, I might be going to meet friends for lunch, um, I might be going back into the office, I might be going to a meeting, and this is just brilliant. Also kind of doubles up as a bit of a concealer if you've got a spot, etc. Absolutely brilliant. And those are my products that I get to the bottom of constantly. I love them. I think I'll probably use them forever. Um, and there we are. I'd love to hear the products you use all the time and that you scrape out of the jar and um, rebuy again and again and again. Um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe to Get The Gloss TV.